sticks. Playing for the Padres organization is something Tin Cap's third baseman, Ty France, dreamed about. The California native had a close bond with Mr. Padre himself, the late great Tony Gwynn. When Gwynn recruited and managed Ty his first two seasons at San Diego State, and News Channel 15's Jessica Starbird has more on how one of the Padres' all time greats set this budding Tin Cap star on a path to success. Before Ty France became one of the Padres' up-and-coming prospects, the young hitter grabbed the eye of Padres great and San Diego State manager Tony Gwynn. Obviously, if you get the chance to play for a Hall of Famer, you, you got to take it. I couldn't turn that down. The California native joined the Aztecs in 2013 and got to see what made Gwynn an all-star on and off the field. He had a bunch of different sayings, uh, some funny ones, some stuff I can't say on TV. Um, but he was just, yeah, he was an all-around great guy. Gwynn was in the midst of his battle with salivary cancer Ty's freshman year. In 2014, things took a turn for the worse. Before games, we'd have hitters meetings, and he walked out there and had, had someone assist him out there and was like, guys, like, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Um, I need to go back to the hotel and rest. I love you guys. Go, go win this one for me. That, that was when we kind of knew this was probably his last year with us. And that breaking news, San Diego baseball fans have lost one of the all-time greats. Tony Gwynn, the man known as Mr. Padre, has died. I woke up to my phone just blowing up, and uh, I turned the TV on all over Sports Center, news channels everywhere. It said Tony Gwynn had passed. It was a lot for me to take in because of the relationship I did have with Coach Gwynn. It was a sad day for a lot of people. I'm, I miss him a lot. Just six days before the one-year anniversary of Gwyn's death, Ty received another life-changing phone call, this time from his agent saying that the Padres wanted to draft him. I said, absolutely. If I get a chance to stay in San Diego, play for the same team Coach Gwyn got to play for, that would be a dream come true. Ty is now living out his dream in his second season with the Padres organization, knowing his mentor, Mr. Padre, is proudly looking down. I think he's watching over me every day. I have a tattoo of TG19 on me, um, write TG19 on all my gear. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't play without thinking about him. He was a big reason of why I'm even here. And now hopefully I'll get to follow in his footsteps. Reporting from Parkview Field, Jessica Starbird, News Channel 15. Ty is splitting his time between designated hitter and third base this season, and he's batting 265 on the year.